On today's episode of Shin's Kitchen, I'll be making Nigerian puff puff. Have you ever eaten puff puff? Let me tell you, it is so delicious. I'm going to teach you how to make it with just a few ingredients. Come with me. First off, you will need some all-purpose flour and you're going to go ahead and pour that into your mixing bowl. Next, we have some sugar. The list of ingredients will be below. I'll add some milk powder or some powdered milk, <laughs> whatever you call it. Some grated nutmeg and salt. And finally, I'll add my dry active yeast. And we're going to go ahead and mix all of that together or I am going to go ahead and mix all of that together and make sure that it's well combined. Slowly, I'm going to go ahead and add water and I'm going to take my time and mix it. I'm not adding all the water at once because I'm really afraid of messing up the consistency. But as you can see, I will gradually add more and more water until I have the consistency that I like or that you should have for this recipe. <laughs> Make sure that all the lumps are gone from your batter and right here, this is the perfect consistency. I'm going to go ahead and cover with plastic wrap and put it aside for just 25 minutes because that's how I like it. You can do up to 60 minutes depending on the taste that you want. So this is after 25 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add some oil to my frying pan. And I'm testing my oil to make sure it is perfect. This is what my batter is looking like. And I'm going to show you how to make your balls, your puff puff balls. <laughs> Please deflate your batter. Do not be like me that made this mistake on this day. As you can see, I put the batter in the palm of my hands. Then I flip it over and squeeze. Please just look, you can see what I'm doing. So as you can see, flip, squeeze, flip, squeeze, and here I have my puff puffs ready in the pot. I'm going to use my chopsticks to flip my puff puff balls. They will not stay on one side. So you have to continuously flip it back over, flip it back over, flip it back over. It normally takes around 10 to 15 minutes for each puff puff ball to be fully cooked through. Make sure that your oil is not too hot because it will burn and the inside will be raw. So make sure your oil is at the perfect temperature. So my puff puff is looking golden and nice and ready to be removed from the oil. Once I remove my puff puff balls, I'm going to go ahead and put them on some paper towel to help suck up the excess oil but i can assure you even though these are deep fried they are not that oily it is really great to just be eaten with some hot cocoa tea or hot coffee in the morning in the evening any time of day you can enjoy your puff puff hot as soon as it's finished eat but be careful not to burn yourself this is what the finished product is looking like if you can't eat everything at once later pop them in the air fryer for a few minutes and they're good to go if you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you next time bye bye